Live down here at Tool Shed, beautiful facility. They've got a lot of room to move. Like Graham, Graham Sherman with Tool Shed here, uh, one of the co-founders. This is really cool because it's a small little stand. We got yes. some kegs, got some propane. I said, what do you use this for? You say, this is where, it's where it all started. Yeah, this, like is, this. this is the kind of system that you would, wow, this is a pretty high-end system for home brewing as well. But it's, uh, this, is, this is kind of where you start. Making these little homebrew batches on a tiny system like this is, uh, is where you start falling in love with brewing. But different sure. than the pails you get when you're making your own oh, beer yeah. when you're, you're, you're first starting. This is to a level of geekiness that's pretty high. It's all stainless. We built a laboratory to support this system for sure. That is great. Well, what's yeah. neat is you've got the full system here. Yes. You've got the big leagues. But this does not go unused. No. Still using a small system for what? This is what kind of separates us, I think, from a lot of our of our competitors, is that a majority of breweries will be out there just kind of coming up with a new recipe, brewing it, putting it into the market. And we make a lot of beer. Some are good, some are great, and some we dump. And so this system we brought in here so that we can work on our test batches. This is our research and development department now. So we'll brew each batch we brew on here. We separate into four different A, B, C, D testing models, and we uh, and yeah, we come up with a way. To to perfect the recipe before we scale up to the big system. So it's every beer that we put out, you might like it, you might hate it, but it's exactly the way we wanted it to taste. Boy, yeah. a lot of science behind it. Oh, Let's yeah. talk, I, I, I'm not sure if you can show your cards, but what sorts of brews uh, coming up in the new year are you putting through here Absolutely. right now? Absolutely. We, uh, we keep teasing everybody with this white stout we're, we're coming out with. It's We were designing it originally for this Christmas as a little eggnog spice in there as well. It's a really unique thing. We're doing something with it that's never been done before, so I'll keep that part a secret. But when it comes out, it's going to change a lot of things. A white stout. It's, it's a magnificent. We're also doing a, uh, a home brewer series, so kind of paying respect to where we came from and the amazing home brewers around Alberta. So we're letting home brewers come in with their recipes, work on them, perfect them, and then put the beer out to the market so that they can experience, you know, the first time I sat in National and heard somebody behind me order a pint of my beer. It was just, my mind literally exploded. So that gives Calgarians who think they know what it takes that chance oh, on the spotlight. Totally, yeah. They get, they have to work with Canadian Food Inspection Agency. They got to look, work with our graphic designers. They have to can the beer, which sucks. That's 16 hours of, of pain canning your beer. But it's the whole process from start to finish that a lot of these home brewers would love the, the chance to experience. And when that beer sells out, the next home brewer comes in and, and, and puts his beer through the system. Very cool. Yeah. From the beginnings to the brand new facility, yes. Tool Shed. We're here all morning long and going to find out, to, again, some of their flavors and where they came from. When you're launching your brewery, which ones do you want to go to market with? It's pretty cool. That's coming up in a bit. All right, good stuff. Thanks, Andy. Uh, coming up during the 8 o'clock hour, 